Well, yeah. that happens a lot. And uh, like the idea for I, I thought was fascinating in uh, uh, the clot thickens where you talk about the actual composition of our atherosclerotic plaques. Yeah. Atherosclerotic plaques, everyone in the United States and probably uh, all over the world has this picture in their mind of a spongy mass of cholesterol sticking to the inside of your artery. And eventually, yeah. every once in a while, a piece of that breaks off and circulates through until it finally gets to the brain and causes a stroke and you die. Oh, or something like and, that. Or something like that. And that's not the case. Well, of course now, it's not. Now, it's, is it? Again, it, it's, it's, it's so not the case, it's just not the case. It's just I bizarre mean, it's that it's not. So what is a, what is a plaque? What do they well, consist of? It, it, yeah, well, well, what does a plaque consist of? Many, many, many things. Plaques were first studied in the mid-19th century. It was, it was crystals, cholesterol crystals. And um, uh, and that was Ver a guy called R Rudolf Virchow. He didn't think they were causal. He said these are later stages of development. You don't see these until the plaques are quite old and quite well established. But everyone could know it's cholesterol crystals. That must have come from the cholesterol in your bloodstream. And you go, well, of course, you then get a bit more scientific. -y, but you don't have any cholesterol in your bloodstream. You've got these lipoproteins called LDL. We call them cholesterol, but they're not cholesterol. They contain cholesterol. Right. It's a bit like calling a car a human being because cars contain human beings. No, it's not a human <laughs> being. It's a car. Human <laughs> beings are inside it, all right? right? So stop calling cars human beings. Stop calling lipoproteins cholesterol, but, but we do. Anyway, the cholesterol that's within bad cholesterol, lipoprotein, LDL, whatever you want to call it, is actually a combination of one cholesterol molecule and one fatty acid. And when they're linked together, they're called a cholesterol ester. That's just a chemical term. Fat plus alcohol equals ester. But and, and you can't make a cholesterol crystal from these things. It has to be pure cholesterol to make a cholesterol crystal. So whatever is causing these cholesterol crystals to form, it cannot be coming from LDL. The only place it can come from is the only substance in your blood that's got enough free cholesterol to make a crystal. And that is the membrane of your red blood cells. Red blood cells are also actually a form of lipoprotein. In, in reality um, but they have a membrane that contains an awful lot of pure cholesterol because that actually allows the oxygen and the carbon dioxide to, to move through them they need it for a particular purpose anyway if you get enough red blood cells together and they break down and you've got cholesterol from their life together they form crystals so the finding of cholesterol crystals in a plaque means it cannot have come from what we call blood cholesterol it can only have come from a red blood cell where do you get red blood cells? You get red blood cells in blood clots. That's where they primarily form. It's the only place you're going to get it from. So immediately you start looking at what's inside a plaque, and you say, well, it's got cholesterol in it. Say, well, that actually stop. All right, that means it can't have come from LDL, bad cholesterol. The thing we call cholesterol cannot have come from there. It's got to have come from somewhere else. Now the people have looked at this. Proper scientists have said, well, well, yes, obviously. Everyone else goes, ah, oh, well, it's obviously come from the LDL. It's obvious that that's what causes it. So you look at other things and you find they're full of all the things that you find in a blood clot. They're full of, you may have heard of fibrin, which is, fibrin is a long strand of sticky protein that, mm -hmm. that forms around all blood clots. So they form and then tightens them all together. A component of it's connective kind of, tissues like ligaments it's, it's and tendons and yeah. fascia and stuff. It, 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 sort of like that and and of course that's your blood clotting system is in, in fact designed a lot of it's half of it is designed to make fibrin to bind around the blood clot and hold it in really tight mm -hmm. 